You ever played a game and thought, wow, what would it be like if I could actually be in this game? Now we're not talking like shoots and ladders and checkers. I'm talking about like a video game. And see, and in most video games, it gets kind of crazy because at any point you could die. But the great thing is you don't really die. You just start over. Well, that's what happens in Champion's Quest. These kids, they get sucked into a game and they have to play and go on this epic quest and defeat a monster, all sorts of monsters. What is the scariest monster you could ever imagine? Well, guess what? This book has a dragon in it, and not just any dragon, a skeleton dragon. And this one is called the Braxis, and he's a skeleton dragon, and Lucas, 12-year-old Lucas, has to race him through a labyrinth of bones and make it to the end before the Braxis eats him. Pretty scary, right? Part of the excitement in this story is all the different creatures that Lucas and his friends have to fight. Um, giant scorpions, dwarves that can dive bomb from the trees, giant treant, which is a tree monster, a witch that can turn people into like mindless zombies with her chocolate chip cookies. But he holds this die of opportunity that when you roll it, it gives him either a weapon or a spell or a piece of armor or something that might give him the advantage over a monster. But ultimately, no matter what, weapons and armor and special spells and, and items and artifacts, they're all great. But really, it's the characters that have to defeat the monsters. Uh, Lucas has to figure out how to do it himself. Um, and he has to work together with Miles and Jasmine and Vanessa, uh, the other members of his band of champions in order to do that. And it gets pretty crazy. Get your copy August 3rd, sent directly to your home via pre-order or it'll be in bookstores across the country.